Okay, so when Ivana and I fly, we feel like VIPs because all we have is one wheelie luggage each and one backpack. It's like a little bit of first class flying for budget travelers like ourselves. Now you'll notice Ivana's section is nearly empty. Her backpack is so light. She for sure has no back pain. Whereas my section, my backpack looks like it's full of bricks. But for the sake of this video, we won't dive into this backpack too much because it's mostly full of the YouTube channel. I'm assuming you're traveling without a YouTube channel and so you will have considerably less electronics than us. If you're nervous about flying with only carry-ons, you think you need more luggage, I can tell you that for three and a half years, Ivana and I traveled with huge suitcases and huge backpacks, and it was such a bad idea. We had just recently started to do carry-on only, and it's way more convenient, it's way more affordable when you're flying, you feel like you're sophisticated as you go into the airport and sort of immediately just check in and go right on the plane, it's uh, really, really highly recommended by Ivana and I. So with that being said, we'll take this backpack and we'll put it to the side because like I said, it's the entire YouTube channel. Really the only two things inside there that are of note are these two travel adapters. You've probably seen them before. Highly recommended to get one that is all outlets on the front as well as all outlets on the back, as well as a fuse inside as to not fry your laptop. So from there, I'll let Ivana take over. She's got her backpack and then her suitcase and my suitcase. Uh, really recommend this travel style. Ivana will take you through the bags. Because I pack for Steve as well. Can you believe that? A grown man, but his wife packs for him. Ivana, you, Can you guys you, relate with me? You enjoy packing, Ivana. I was being loving by letting you do the thing you enjoy. Okay. So, as Steve said, his backpack is full of electronics, our cameras, laptops, and such. My backpack is almost empty there's nothing inside other than our jacket foldable jackets that fits into this little pocket ah, so you got my jacket and steve jacket because we try to get away from uh the winter time but sometimes we just can't help and be in a country where the weather is cooler. So let's go through. Go your bag first. Mine first? Yeah, okay. go ahead. First of all, this is the size of our carry-on. Our carry-on is from Monos. We're not sponsored, but so far, so good, right? <laughs> Five stars so far. <laughs> yeah. So the dimension is 22 by 14 by 9 inches. So that's the acceptable dimension that most airlines accept uh, luggage to be in their carry-ons. Let's go through it. Oh, one more thing. I just want to show you. This carry-on got its own locks. TSA approved lock. Yeah, it's quite a slick design where the zipper sort of clicks in like this. And then you can uh, be certain that your zippers can't be moved. And You're then you put your, my, put my your combination <laughs> here and go beep, beep. It's a uh, slick design and, and good product. Yes. And like you once said, not sponsored. We're just telling you it's a good product. Now, let's see if I remember my code. I hope so. There you go. <laughs> okay. Ta-da! This is my whole life right now. My whole life. Let's see. So we got two compartments right here. One, I'll just tell you. This is all my clothes right here. I got probably um, seven tops, uh, one long pants, two leggings, three dresses, two skirts, one sweater, and I think that's it. And Sounds two right. pieces for sleeping. So everything is in here. And also all my clothes, I roll them. They can be wrinkly. That's the bad part about it, but it's better. It just fits more inside this little uh, cube, packing cube. And they're a lifesaver. This is the number one tip I would let you guys know is to get a packing cube. It helps a lot. 
it fits more stuff in here and also it just helps you organize to be more organized when you're packing and then here it's all my bras and my um, swimming suit and stuff I'm not gonna show it to you inside and on the other side now you can see in, inside my bag it's all organized I don't leave everything open I got compartments for my makeup so my blush my eyeliner it's all in here except the liquid stuff the liquid stuff I have to put in like a kind of like a ziploc bag like it has to be clear it has if you see here it says um, TSA approved 1000 ml and I got all the liquids in my bag um, my face cleaner uh, lotion makeup lip gloss everything in here it must fit this bag that's the challenge for you guys if you are traveling heavy with like big shampoos or something maybe downsize a little bit you can only take a maximum of 100 grams of liquid in a bottle that fits into this whole bag so one passenger is allowed one uh 1000 ml or one liter really of the ziploc bag by the way i bought this at Amazon again not sponsored but just to help you guys this is our little uh, soap carry-on I never saw it in my life we have that yes oh, wow we're the best <laughs> we don't use liquid soap uh, bar soap is better because it doesn't count as liquid um, this is our medical emergency Steve used it a lot when we were, were in uh, Pakistan <laughs> we got Imodium uh, and some emergency uh, pills and stuff in here I know it's a big pack and there's all my underwear is in here and my lady stuff I'm not gonna show you this and also I brought with me two sandals And uh, I usually wear my shoes, but if I don't wear my shoes, they'll fit in here as well. It's pushable. So basically, that's all. Yo, Ivana, it doesn't look like much. That's your whole suitcase? Yes. I mean, uh, sometimes what? the trick is pack less than you think because I like shopping. Sometimes I see stuff I see on the shelf and I'm like, oh, I want that. So my rule is whenever I get something new, I have to get rid of something old. Would you describe yourself as a minimalist? Uh, yes, I think so. Whoa. Am I? Yeah, you too. Whoa. You're even more than me. Really? <laughs> even more, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to get rid of things that you, know, that you like, but when you haven't wear something for like more than two months, get rid of it. That's the trick and the suitcase well. is nice, eh? you got the uh, straps tighten it. Yeah, and you got this zipper thing to keep maybe your documents. I got photocopies of my uh, passport in there. And that's it. That's all my bag. And let's go through your bag. That was quick, you wanna. Yes. Holy jumping. Okay, next. Sorry, I'm just leaving everything here now. No we'll problem. Repack. Part of the ambiance. <laughs> this is Steve's. I pack for him. <laughs> I didn't know part of the video was you exposing me as a non-packer. <laughs> I think everyone knows. If, <laughs> if they have been watching our vlogs, I think you guys, yeah. you guys know by now that I'm the packer. Anyone who knows me knows I'm probably not packing. I'm sure we're not the only couple that. I don't know. You guys let us know if uh, one, if you are a couple, who is normally doing the packing? Is are you doing it on your own each, or someone normally? Also, I will say this: <laughs> uh, because we're like so close and we spend twenty four seven together, it's not always packed my suitcase and your suitcase. Right. It's all just our stuff. Yeah, it's all kind of together. Which yes. is sort of convenient. If you're traveling with someone that you just met or someone new, yeah. you might have to separate your stuff more. We just basically share two suitcases. Oh. Sort of convenient. For example, this is Steve's uh, liquid bag. <laughs> this is Steve's liquid bag, but I also use the stuff here. 
We got shampoo, lotion, conditioner, toothpaste. So this is all our stuff, really. It's not just these. Exactly right. It. As you can yes. tell by my hairstyle, I don't have a great need for conditioner. <laughs> I use mostly the conditioner. <laughs> okay. I'll admit that I put most of my stuff to, not most, but some of my stuff in Steve's. And this bag, little bag, it's all the spices uh, that we go around with salt, pepper, because we normally stay at an Airbnb that has a kitchen. I don't want to buy new spices each, each time I arrive in a new city. So this little bag has salt, peppers, I don't know what else. <laughs> Man, Ivana, the fact that we travel with carry-ons and we have space for salt and pepper, what did we have in our big backpacks before? I really think we were traveling with a whole bunch of just nonsense. Do you know what I mean? We have <laughs> such huge backpacks. I think most of it I is just so. extra clothes. Uh, yes, I think we were carrying a lot of souvenirs as well. Yeah, just Extra stuff. clothes and souvenirs. Even through this video of organizing it, we've already found a few more things that we can throw out. Yes. Really? Yes, I'll show you. <laughs> we had this, it's like a laptop oh, yes, sleeve yes, for Ivana's. Yes. Um, we really want to take care of your electronics naturally, but this backpack has a uh, laptop sleeve. Mm -hmm. So this is, just look at how big this is. True. Garbage. It is nice though. Donation. See, it's hard to get rid of. <laughs> it is nice, but no need. Nice. <laughs> and another liquid bag, 1L, I'll say, or 1000 ml of transparent bag. Okay, and uh, we have another transparent bag. This is not liquid. It's mostly vitamins and ibuprofen and like dental floss and everything. Uh, it's all in here. And Steve, this is his sandals. So you have one pair of sandals and one pair of shoes. Normally you wear your shoes outside and we pack the sandals in. Again, this is our shared stuff in here. We got things like my contact lens, card to play when we're bored. Oh, take cards, okay. Umbrella, you know. And we got uh, some uh, at home COVID tests, just in case. And guys, even with carry on only, we still have some stuff that has absolutely no use, but we just can't bring ourselves to throw it out. We have a Rapid Bucharest scarf. Rapid because we are constantly because looking for things to delete, but I will not delete this. We it know stays. What come it stays. <laughs> Steve's other hat. Keep it on for the rest of the video, everybody. It's only a million bucks. Uh, our well, I'll just let you know the deodorant that we use, and yes, we share. Oh, Ivana, too much information. <laughs> Gross. Uh, we use the uh, block crystal. Uh, it's not liquid uh, deodorant, so eliminate as much as possible liquid stuff good one Ivana. and also we got in here our um, wet bag in case we go to the beach or we got some boat trip going on we got our wet bag as well in here and that's it on this side and on the other side uh, this is all Steve's yo pro tip for me all my t-shirts I think I have seven t-shirts they're all football jerseys they're souvenirs. Hmm. Because if you want to put souvenirs in your bag, take a lot of space. Also, clothes is the biggest waste of space ever. So souvenirs become t-shirts. Yes. It's really good technique. Yes, you got your t-shirt and also underwear in here. And uh, I think you got two pairs of shorts. And normally you'll wear your long pants in, in a plane. Right. Yeah. So that's yours. And your bathing suit. Uh, unfortunately, we left the Brazilian Sunga in Canada, so only one for Steve. And this is a tip also, buy one of these towels. It's the really high absorbent towel and it's very thin, lightweight, for, good for travel. So buy this one if you can, it saves a lot of space. It's Pretty good for traveling and uh, all Steve's socks. And I guess that's it. Oh, in this little zipper right here, we got our shopping bag. We go grocery shopping, save the plastics. And also good for a laundry bag. And uh, 
I just talk about saving plastic. I got extra Ziploc bags just in case. What do you mean Ziploc bags? Like Ziploc, Ziploc bags? Like Ziploc, Ziploc wow, bags. Wow, that is a prepared organize. lady right there. Yes. That is a prepared lady. So, yeah. And that is our... Yo, Ivana, I can't believe how little stuff we have. I don't know what we were doing with those huge <laughs> backpacks. I mean, it's so little. Yes. It I really think. is a great feeling to go to the airport and go right in the plane. Yes, I didn't think I could do it. Just like uh, traveling with carry-ons, but I did it. By the way, you look like a million bucks in the hat. It. I didn't think I could do it. So you guys can too, because we're traveling long term, you know, and... We did it, Ivana. Mostly, like one full backpack, one full big backpack is full of just electronics, which I'm assuming most of you guys won't have, so... You can also do it. Good job, Ivana. Yes. By the way, you look like a million bucks in that hat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, one more thing that I forgot to mention. You guys, one of you guys asked about like, how about the weight? Uh, will the airline um, like weight your luggage, your carry-ons before it goes into the plane? Most airlines don't do that as long as the size fits uh, their uh, regulations. So, um, yeah. Oh, we've never had our bags weighed, have we? No, but that's why one of my backpack is empty. In case we're uh, in case they weight our luggage anyway, we can move some stuff. Got it. In my backpack. Good job, Ivana. Very helpful. Good that's video. It. Boomba. What is your favorite thing about traveling carry on only? Is there one factor you love the most? We don't need to wait in that little belt anymore to wait for our big backpacks to come Absolutely. after we. And you don't have to worry about losing your luggage. Absolutely right. <laughs> there you have it, everybody. Good job, Ivana. There you have it. All right. Later, everybody.